exist. I don't know if you know much about uh, Mount Olives, Harazitin. It used to be a road. The Jordanians built a road over the cemetery, and over the years it's all been dug up, restored, but many of the graves have been damaged. But then we got on the phone to the Hebra Kaddish in Jerusalem, and they had it on the computer. And by talking to them and identifying various names that were legible on the grave sites, we were able to come down and work our way down until we found the actual plot of Tzvi Hirsch. Now, what we found is not a Matsuva or a name or anything like that. We found an area, which is number one, which is overgrown, and on either side of it is the other names, but according to the computer, that's where Tzvi Hirsch lies. So, the ultimate thing is to find the grave of our great ancestor, Tzvi Hirsch, was something, something I've been trying to do for many years, and was a really great achievement. So we went around looking, we took pictures and all that, it was fantastic. Then we got back to the hotel, I looked at the camera, and the pictures didn't come out. So I had to go all the way back again, <laughs> but this time I knew where to go, and we were able to get the pictures, and those pictures will be appearing, I've got on my computer here, but those pictures will be appearing on the website, on the family website, very, very soon. Now, in my research leading up to, by the way, that's the full family tree there. It used to be about six to eight meters long. That's a full family tree of everyone on the family. A lot of the information uh, was obtained, particularly, particularly from family here, who were the other brothers of our ancestor in Australia, of Avram, the other children of Tzvi Hirsch, were obtained through the help of Spencer in the United States who was able to research uh, the family more going back into the history, the ancestors, rather than the descendants, the current ones living in Australia and other places. So the combination of Spencer's information and my information we were able to arrive at that family tree there. Apart from that, you'll find here uh, what I most prepared is more detailed information about each brother of Tzvi, each son of Tzvi Hirsch, which was Avram, Yankel, Chaim, and someone else. Okay, we know about three. Now, what I've done here, and this is where I need your help, I see a lot of faces or names of, I haven't heard of before. I would like you to each update your own family. I've got, apart from what's written on the wall, I've got hand ones here of each group of families, of Estera, Zachaleba, and Shoshka Milosevic. I'll pass these around, I've got some pens. If you can fill in any information of your children, relatives, dates of birth, anything that's missing from here or is incorrect, so we can update the family tree, okay? I also have here many of these sheets which shows you exactly from Tzvi Hirsch how we are all descendant which are the families, where they come from, and this is something to see how you all fit in, okay? The so finally what I have here today is uh, some, uh, they call these pages of testimony from Yad Vashem, and it shows that people like Avram Tachnai, Miriam, Miriam Mizrach, Sonia, Sonia Goodworth, Milanjevich from Belgium, Benjamin Tuchani, my father, when they arrived in Israel, they submitted after the war to Yad Vashem searching for relatives. And this has been also the basis of many names that were missing from the previous family tree. Uh, I brought copies here for the respective family to have a look at. This is a very most interesting source of information and now you can get this on the Yad Vashem line. Before you couldn't have to go physically and get copies of that. Okay? Finally, um, I ask you to please go on the website, have a look, send me photos. Have any of you gone on the website have a look yet? It's, anything's incorrect, any information, keep sending more and more. I'm sure I don't have that little baby's name on my website. And I'm sure I don't have that one either. Okay? It's, I don't know about the other ones. So I want more and more information. I want photos. Okay? So that's all I have to say. Look, it's been really a thrill for me. Sorry? You don't need user, you don't need username and code. You don't need that. You just go on. The only thing you need a username and a password is for the emails. You don't need it for anything else. Okay? So finally I want to thank Isabel. I want to thank Amos and all of you for coming here. It's it's a great thing for us. We really appreciate it. 
and I hope uh, we're still here. The Maccabi is finished, thank God. We've still got 10 days we're here. We'd love to catch up with you if we could. And I hope in the future, whenever you come to Australia, if you please let us know. We're not that far away. Okay, listen, we've been here many times, so it's not too bad. And when we come in the future, we'll let you know. And let's keep this going, okay? It's fantastic. It's good to know. And look, this thing, this family, it's a club. It's a club you have no choice in joining. Right? Make the most of it, okay? Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. Gil, 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 Gil,